Reason being, I like exploring and just clearing the entire place, because we're going to have a ton of souls by the end of this if we do all this. That, and when I do Let's Plays, I try and clear everything except in Persona 4. Because, well, I don't want to do that. I know there's people that jump down here. You can see them right up there. Come on. Come on down. Price is right. Come on. Oh, for God's sake. You have to be on this side, bro. You gotta be on this side. Come on. There you go. Oh, God. I thought I had my other thing equipped. Oh, God. Nope. Haha. -ha. Dodging like a pro. Even though I pretty much just rammed the... Rammed it. I pretty much just mashed the roll button. If you didn't notice, we're going backwards in the level. Because, oh god. I just realized that's a bunch of explosive barrels. Because, well, we took the shortcuts by jumping down to Estrava into the middle of that viper pit earlier. We weren't supposed to go that way. I was actually aiming for the ledge opposite. But, well, best laid plans and all. They don't always work out. I don't remember the exact quote. I think something about mice or something. Best laid plans of mice and men was out of this. I, I don't remember. I'm not a liter literature major. I think there's a merchant in here. I think there's a merchant in here. I think. I don't want to... I don't want to accidentally hit him. Okay. Don't just smack this guy. He may look like a drag. And he is. But he's a friendly drag. Good day to you. Care to look over my wares? Mostly stolen, but who's telling you? I like that guy as voice actor. I'm not sure why. Let's see, what does he have again? Long sword, club, light crossbow. Nah, what was that last one? All oh, slave shield. Does any of these actually have 100%? Guard, or not, damage reduction. No, they do not. I'm not planning on being a huge turtle this time, but I mean... Everybody would like to have a 100% shield, or a 100%, you know, physical blocking shield. At least I'd imagine you do. If not... Well, you're a brave person. A lot braver than me. I don't actually need anything from you, so I'm going to waste your time. I'll talk to you first, though. Be a brave knight or depraved slave. The demons will snatch your soul, then you'll go mad. And those who dare cling to their humanity are hunted down. It is the end of Great Boletaria, as we know it. But hell, at least the demons don't send us to our deaths in battle. <laughs> There's this skinny fella, clad in fabulous armor, who's always mumbling about some mission. He's another one who's managed to stay sane like yourself. Probably some pampered son by the looks of his attire. I'd give an arm just for the buttons off his shirt. I think he's referring to Estrava, if I had to guess. It is the end of Great Boletaria, as we know it. But hell, at least the demon... Go ahead, take your time, not going any- Yeah, so Strava is on a grand mission. I can't really remember off the top of my head exactly what it is, but he's on a grand mission to avenge somebody or something, I'm not sure. Oh, good lord! Well, it's a good thing I wasn't completely in there. You suicidal moron! Why would you throw that when you're in there? What was the purpose of that? Just to be a jackass? Well, I can't- I fail to see the purpose of that, really. Oh, come on. You're gonna make me go in there? Fine. Oh, good, no. You're gonna keep throwing crap, aren't you? That's right, you're not. I didn't want to be in melee, but you forced my hand. Literally. Now, we're actually going to try and make this jump what we, what, using what we like to call the correct way. And then we'll actually get moving forward. What we were supposed to do here is roll on top of... Well, that's one way to do it. I've never done it that way. I usually roll on top of the guardrail up there. And then you can get the thief's ring, arguably the best ring in the entire game. Why did we want to be here? Well, because then we'd be shooting fish in a barrel from above, not from below, like we were before. I guess it's a good thing we did come back here because, well, at least we got another soul out of it. Of course, the negative is now we got to backtrack, but I'm not going to make you watch all that backtracking, so be back in a moment, everyone. Okay, now we're back. Now we're going to keep moving forward. I thought that thing was dead. Oh, he is dead. Whoops. Okay, now let's get moving. 
We're actually almost through this place, if I remember right. All we gotta do is get through one more dicey situation, and then we're home free. And yes, this is a good thing to do, if you watch this guy. Oh god. Damn my... I just killed myself. No, I didn't. Well, normally, I have a bigger weapon there, so you can hit it. I guess I should have just did this. I don't know if that worked either, but I guess I should have done something like this. No, I would have got hit by then. I guess I... Well, that was just stupid. I guess I should have done something a little more along the lines of that. But you live and you learn, I guess, is the moral of this story. Don't just go swinging things when giant boulders are there and they'll probably roll and fall over you. That's an oddly specific moral, but I'm pretty sure that was the moral of the story there. Is there anybody alive over here? Hmm? I'd be willing to relieve you of that, uh, misery. I remember there's somebody up here that I didn't like. Oh, yes. Oh, God. You guys. In melee, these guys are... Eh, not that bad, but... Well, I can all. I should. I should probably call this Dark Souls E or Dark Souls Demon Souls Easy Mode, or you know something like that. But yeah, the level design might be easier for a mage. But I have a feeling the whole uh, the whole boss thing gonna be a different story with me because I've only ever fought the melee. So and and I have trouble with the bosses by myself. On, on builds I like. Seriously? Dragon's not gonna come by now. Okay, fine. We'll just take them all by ourselves. That'll make you happy. That's what we'll do. Oh, crap. That's what we'll do. Normally, what happens is you hear a loud roar, okay, and then a giant-ass dragon comes by and just toasts the crap out of everybody on that bridge. That's why I'm paranoid going over this way because, well, I'm afraid I'm going to get caught on the bridge and die and have to go through all this again. Truthfully, that's why. And I don't exactly have the health to just go, screw you guys, I'm just going past you. So I kind of have to wait until they're all either dead or kill them myself. God, you're not going to... Dragon, why have you forsaken me? I, j I mean you no harm yet. So why won't you do me this favor? Do me a solid. But no. Demon Souls doesn't do you solids. I keep thinking I have the wrong thing equipped. I remember this happened many times in my last mage playthrough, and it's still as embarrassing as the very first time. Actually more so, considering this is the... Not the first... Th not the first time I've ever done this kind of playthrough. You, you guys are just doing this in sync now, just trying to screw with me, aren't you? I am skilled. I can do this. As soon as I go over here, we're gonna hear a roar. No? Oh, I'm surprised. Quite surprised. I don't think I've ever went this long without that dragon showing up. Truthfully, I may, I maybe just because... No, that can't be right. I was gonna say maybe because I haven't went to 1-2 yet, but that's not even physically possible yet, so... That didn't make any sense, now did it? Get behind the cover. I'm going to miss the sound of the roar due to the crashing, aren't I? Oh, Lord. Really? You never showed up? Hmm. Alright, well, as soon as I go for these, he'll show up. Why? Because screw you, that's why. That's what'll happen. And sometimes, folks, that's all the reason Demon Souls needs. Screw you, that's why. Or at least it will seem that way. At first glance, I'm pretty sure I just ran over something, and I didn't pick it up. But I don't really care because it's probably just another Royal Soldier's Lotus. Ooh, what's this? Right. Anything behind that? No. Guess it would have probably been obvious that there had been with the giant glowing thing there. Yeah, you want to flip this. This will open the big-ass door that we saw earlier. Hey, 
And now we can fight our first boss. And it's only been an hour and one minute and 57 seconds. Well, probably not on your screen because I started recording like a minute before this, but you get the idea. It's only been about an hour. Oh, I don't know why you were throwing that. Was that just for intimidation purposes for the whole zero people there? I mean, I guess I shouldn't question it. It was just supposed to be one of those intimidation things, but... We're lucky we're psychic. Otherwise, oh god. We're lucky we're psychic. Otherwise, that tactic would have been rather stupid now, wouldn't it, on the boss's part? I almost said we're lucky we're psychotic. Well, we're probably that too. I mean, we're murdering people left and right. I don't think that's the work of a sane person by any stretch of the imagination, but maybe I'm wrong. What the hell's back here? I don't remember. Is there anything back here? Yes, there is. Sweet. Turpentine. That's going to be useful for the boss. Since it's weak to fire, I think. Oh, crap. That phantom scared me. Oh, it feels weird after being after playing Dark Souls 2 offline for so long to be playing online and seeing phantoms again. Not a single frick was given that day. He didn't care that he was about to die. He just wanted to walk and look boss doing it. Seriously, I mean, has any of these people actually attacked us? Well, I guess some people attacked us, but I mean, did anybody attack us without me killing their buddy first in this whole thing? Because I'm pretty sure people just went, Hey, how you doing? And I just murdered him, and then a the guy went, Oh, you just killed Fred. Why did you do that? And then he tried, then they try and kill me. I mean, I don't think anybody, I don't think anybody's really instigated a fight here besides me in this whole place. Have have they? No, the one guy with the bow and arrow did. But to be fair, I kind of killed a bunch of people before that. So I mean, I guess I could have killed his friend too. That was on guard duty by the by the fountain in the beginning of the place. Yeah, we'll go with that. Are you done? Okay, just want to make sure you're done there. Because I didn't want to waste another soul arrow, stupidly trying to hit you. And this is these are the hot lights. Does this actually go through shields? Yes, it does. The boss fight is going to be very easy. Because I thought I'd have to go behind it and actually, I don't know, do something skillful like when I was in the melee runs. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm sure some boss fights are actually quite a lot harder with the mage. But I can't think of them. The one off the top of my head is going to be Flame Larker, but... Pretty sure I heard he's weak to magic. Oh, good lord, what the hell? Oh, he threw a... I was like, good lord, what the hell was that? He threw a spear at me. Right, I forgot they could do that. I guess it makes sense. A spear is the kind of weapon you just kind of throw. I mean, it's halfway made for throwing. Didn't the Romans use theirs as throwing weapons? I don't remember what they called it, but I'm pretty sure they threw spears at people. I mean, warriors for... Warriors throughout the ages of Earth have always used spears. Great, The great Zulu tribe. Uh, Romans. I mean, I think even... Well, I'd say probably every great warrior nation probably has used spears at one time or another. Why am I talking about that? I don't know. But before we go in there, I'm going to heal up here a little bit. Do I actually have any spice? I don't think I do. I guess we'll see. Do I have sp I want to go to the, my hot bar, not that. Do I actually have any spice? I have two. I don't want to use an old spice. A fresh spice would be just fine. You know what, I'll just go this way. I'll just do it this way. If I run out of MP, we'll have to improvise, and it'll be funnier that way. So let's do this! The Phalanx. The boss that I've never had trouble with, ever. And I doubt that's going to start now that I can one-shot its Phalanxes. I always had trouble with it, because you have to try and get behind all these things, and not get boxed in. So it takes a little bit of situational awareness not to get boxed in and you really don't want to try and stand still because they will just throw spears at you as you saw I just thought I missed I did miss <laughs> normally you gotta try and get behind them which can, oh Jesus which can be a little bit of a like this that's normally what you got to do except you know not get caught from behind which generally not a good thing to do just, it, just as a general rule, really? I mean, that's being caught unawares. No one... Uh, well, I, this is one reason why I saved up my Crescent Moongrass so long, because they will just... You can really only cast, apparently, one time before they start 
before they get a lock on you can hit you. So I guess that's something good thing I learned. Hit once, go around, go around the other direction. Don't get caught up in a corner and move to the next one. Basically kiting this thing along. Now that thing will respawn these hop lights, I think after a few minutes. So once you've got all the things dead, eh, you got to try and hurry and take advantage of it. And I'm out of mana. Or wait, no, I'm not totally out yet. Yeah, I am. Never mind. Okay, we got to do this melee. Not something I ever wanted to say on a mage. So this is gonna be funny. Okay, looks like we're going old school with this. Oh crap. One attack, that's all I got because I'm not trying to sit there and tanking damage with this. Go two hand with this thing. Ha! Ah. While my fragrant ring replenishes my MP. Alright. Alright. Oh, this is going rather poorly. I never get hit this much usually. Of course, usually I'm. Oh, good lord. Of course, usually I'm using a bit bigger of a weapon, not using a little, little fancy rapier. Can you guys like stop throwing the spears? That'd be fantastic if you do that for me. How many of these things are there? There's a lot of these things. But this was the fight that really drew me into Demon Souls because I realized. You have to have a plan in this game if you don't add a shield. You have to have a plan, otherwise, well, you're in a world of crap. Oh, I thought I wasn't hitting the shield. It's too dark on my screen. I can hardly see what's a shield and what's pure black. Because this is very dark on mine. Alright, all we gotta do is try and take out the stragglers here. I should not have tried to hit that one, considering that one wasn't even a full health to begin with, but oh well. I guess with magic you want to go after the ones that are at full health and then you then pick off the stragglers with melee attacks. Yes, I know this is a very slow way of going about it, but I tend to go about bosses in Souls games very safely, or at least as safe as possible. Considering it is a Souls game, you can't really ever be really safe. You just gotta kinda go with what is the safest option, really. Because I don't think I've ever run into a boss in any of the Souls series that was I ever considered safe to actually fight. Like, there was never a boss where I'd go, oh, I guarantee I'll never be hit. I don't think. Maybe it's just because I'm not really all that good. I don't know yet, but... I think I'm probably at the pinnacle of my soul's skills. Oh, crap. Bad, bad one to try and hit. Didn't see all the ones in the background. Ah. We're getting somewhere now. I've used way too many moon grass for this fight, I know. But that thing is whittling down. It doesn't hardly have any hoplites left. I picked a bad spot to try and cast there, but it, wor it seemingly worked. Ow. Oh. Aren't you guys supposed to be protecting the big body? What are you guys doing way over here? I got confused by their stupid tactics. That is not the one I wanted to hit, but it worked. I can't really think of what else to say about this boss. Besides this, you, I don't think you have to fight it as an attrition fight. You probably could just get one side exposed and then go in there and try and hit it. But if you do that, well, the other ones are going to hit you while you're hitting it. Which, I guess might not be the end of the world for you, but... Well, I just went around. Hey, I see your exposed backside. I'm going to go to your front now. Yeah, like this. I could just go over here and just go... Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, I prefer to just kill all of the hoplites first and just not have to worry about anything hitting me in the back. Like I said, they do respawn. I just, no, I was going to say, I think I just hit the big blob, not a fa not a hoplite. I'm surprised magic goes through shields. Usually it blocks 30, 40%. I guess they must be using really, really crappy magic shields. Or, excuse me, crappy, crappy shields against magic. Oh, I can't get behind him. I just can't do it. You're gonna die now. If you're not gonna give me an opportunity to hit your small little babies, I'm just gonna do this. Are you trying to... I don't know why that thing's coming at me. You wouldn't think it'd want to try and get near me. Whoops. 
Well, that was just silly, now wasn't it? You might need mana. You know, that important thing for casting spells. Fuck, uh, yeah, you might need it. See, that's a new mage mistake. Try and cast without actually having any mana. That's rule number one, man. And he just... Screw actually learning from the mistake. We're gonna keep repeating it. Because it's... I don't know, it's funnier that way, I guess. Also known as I didn't notice. Anyway, you can see it's it very oh my it very slowly regenerates hoplites, but it's not something you really have to worry about. Once the hoplites are mostly done, it's the fight's pretty much over. I mean, there's like one left. I could pretty much just swing away, or if I really felt like it, I could go kill this thing really quickly, which I guess I might as well. Oh, where the hell? What the hell? Oh, there it is. Like I say, what the hell just hit me? I didn't think that thing had a weapon, the main blob. Now it sits impotently, trying to run away. Oh, yes. It's over. Can I actually... No. I really need to learn what my mana situation is and when I can cast and when I cannot. There's no reason to not two-hand at this point. But this is as easy as they get in Demon Souls. Every other boss past this gets substantially harder. This is the basically... I was gonna say the tutorial boss, but I guess the other one was the tutorial boss. That's the easiest actual boss in all of Demon Souls. And it is a fun one. You revived. Which I guess is technically a correct sentence, but usually... You would add a little bit more to that sentence, but oh well. The lead demons, or lead, I can't tell that's lead or lead demon souls, so we're just gonna say lead. Now, you don't actually ever want to, if you're unfamiliar with the series, you don't want to just go to the, I think it's actually in the consumables, don't just go to these and then just use them. That is a very dumb thing to do, I admit, I might have done that like once. So don't feel too bad if you did it in ignorance. Just learn from it, don't do it again, because you can use that to gain different weapons. I think that one's for a weapon. I think that's a scraping spear. And then the Grey Demon Soul from the tutorial boss, I think gets you the Dozer Axe? I think? How do I remember these things? Because I played this game way too much! That's how I know that. 